Welcome back. This morning, we are talking about oceanic white tip sharks, where a new rule that goes into effect this week focuses on improving their survival. And joining me this morning is Michael Tosato with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration to tell us all about this new rule and its importance. Good morning, Michael. Thanks for joining us. Um, it's my pleasure. Thank you. Can you tell me a little bit about this rule and why it's important for you guys to put it in place? Great. So we estimate that the oceanic white tip shark populations have declined by approximately 80 to 95 percent across the Pacific Ocean since the mid 1990s. Foreign and domestic commercial fishing is a primary contributor to this decline. This rule will help U.S. longline fishing fleet reduce their impact on this species. Back in 2018, NOAA Fisheries listed the oceanic white tip shark as threatened under the Endangered Species Act. Threatened means that these sharks are likely to become an endangered species in the future, and it is important to take action while there's still time to recover this species and not take it to that next level as endangered. The so, Hawaii longline fisheries incidentally capture uh, white tips while fishing for tunas and other uh, valuable commercial fish. These fleets use steel wire leaders for many reasons, and sharks are less able to bite off the gear and escape on their own. This species needs to be constantly moving to have water moving across their gills, so they remain stressed until they are released by fishermen. Most sharks are released alive, but their long-term survival after these interactions is not certain. In 2021, the Hawaii Longline Association took the initiative to voluntarily eliminate the use of wire leaders in favor of monofilament line and this rule implements a regulation to ensure that all current and future vessels in a fishery comply with this change. So I see that this is kind of a um, group effort by NOAA as well as um, some of these longline fishermen. And so th the rule is prohibiting wire leaders in Hawaii deep sea longline fishery, as you mentioned. And you kind of touched on it there in your last answer. Um, but, you know, is what's the hope with where maybe we will see the oceanic white tip population um, in the next few years by putting this rule into place? Great. So. It, it, the shark is in a hunt for his next meal, and while they're hunting for, for fish, they do sometimes get hooked unintentionally um, as they take the bait or uh, another fish that's already caught by a long line, and they get hooked. Um, this is one of the greatest threats to their survival. The switch to nylon leaders and the new handling requirements are estimated to increase the survival rates of hook white tips by more than 30%. Any captured shark can more easily bite through the monofilament line and free itself. Sharks that bite off the line will spend less time on the fishing gear after hooking and are expected to have higher post-hooking survival than sharks that stay on the line until they're released by fishermen. But we also know that the impacts from this species come from foreign fisheries, um, not our U.S. longline fleets. So fisheries hopes that these regulations will serve as a model for others um, and we will lead the effort to strengthen international conservation and management measures to address the recovery of the species. And before we let you go, can you just highlight it? I don't think a lot of people really understand um, the importance that some of these sharks play in our local ecosystem. So it's oceanic white tips. Is there a specific role they play for us here in the islands? Yeah, o oceanic white tip sharks, like all sharks, are apex predators. And, you know, they're found throughout the tropical and subtropical oceans around the world. But these sharks generally inhabit the warmest surface waters in areas away from shore, but they're found all around the Hawaiian Islands. Being at the top of the food chain, these sharks can have a strong influence on the stability of the marine food web. Um, too much of any one thing throws off the balance. And by keeping the abundance of fish and other species that the oceanic white tip eats, these sharks play a key part in making sure that balance um, that's needed uh, stays in place. This is particularly important now as the ocean's temperature and chemistry um, are changing due to the climate. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning, Michael. Some great information there for, for people to be aware of. Again, the rule goes into effect um, on the 31st of this month. Thank you, Michael. My pleasure. Thank you very much.